Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to make fried meat pies. This recipe is absolutely amazing and it is super helpful for those who don't have ovens but still want to enjoy meat pies. But before then, please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So I'm quickly going to run through the ingredients for the filling. I'll be using some chopped carrots, potatoes and onions. I've also got some beef mince. I'll be using the store-bought version but if you like you can make yours at home using the food processor. I've also got some spring onions corn flour and this is to thicken the filling if you haven't got corn flour you can use plain flour for seasoning i'll be using some chicken bouillon salt thyme garlic powder and chili powder and here i've also got some cooking oil to prepare the filling i've got a pan on here on medium heat and once it heats up i will go in with some vegetable oil you can use any other oil that you prefer and once the oil heats up i will go in with some chopped onions Next, I'll fry the chopped onions for about 2-3 to three minutes or until translucent. Please keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn. And after 2-3 to three minutes, it's time to add the beef mince. Using a spatula, I will manipulate the beef mince until it disintegrates and then proceed to fry until brown on all sides. So after frying for about six to seven minutes, and as you can see, it is partially cooked, it's time to go in with the vegetables, that's the carrots and the potatoes. Next, I'll combine thoroughly and then proceed to add my seasonings. And for seasoning, like I said earlier, I'm using some chicken bouillon salt garlic powder thyme and some chili powder next i'll combine this thoroughly and after combining thoroughly i will go in with some water please don't add too much you just need enough to cook the potatoes and the carrots so i've used roughly one cup i think just about 250 ml that's yeah that's all i've got in here so i was going to combine this thoroughly and then leave to cook until the vegetables are soft so while the filling is cooking i will be preparing my thickener and here i've got half a cup of water and to that i will be adding about two to three tablespoons of corn flour mix thoroughly and then set aside for later Now it's time to check back on the filling. It's been about 10 to 12 minutes. And as you can see, my vegetables are fully cooked at this time. And to that, I will be adding my thickener. I'll combine thoroughly and as you can see the more I stir the more it thickens so once it's taken to my satisfaction which is pretty much this honestly this was so good it was so lush I just kept on snacking on it anyway it's time to add my spring onions and just combine thoroughly and leave to simmer for just a minute now the filling is cooked and we're just going to set this aside Now it's time to make our dough and into this big bowl I will be adding some plain flour. This has been sifted already. Please sift your flour so it's more manageable. I will also be going in with some baking powder, salt and some sugar. I know some people are wondering sugar in the dough. Honestly, it is really good in it. It's not so much that you can actually taste the sweetness but it just has a hint of sweetness You know, that just contrasts a bit with the salt in it. But it's up to you if you want to add it. Anyways, I'm going to mix this thoroughly and then go in with some room temperature butter. Next, I'll combine thoroughly until I get a sort of pebbly or crumbly texture. And as you can see, the bowl is a bit too small, so I will be changing that in a minute. And here it is. So <laughs> I don't know why I started out with that really small bowl, but it's fine. And as you can see, I've got the crumbly texture I'm looking for. And next, I'll go in with the water. Please add the water gradually so you don't end up with too much. Thank you. 
So after adding the water, I will combine thoroughly until I get a firm, non-sticky dough. And after achieving the non-sticky dough, I will divide it into two. And this is just so it's more manageable when, you know, when it's time to roll. And then I will cover each, each one with cling film and then leave to rest for about 30 minutes. I'm doing this because I need the gluten in the dough to relax a bit. And this way it will be very much easier to roll. So it's been 30 minutes and it's time to roll the dough. So I'm just going to bring it out of the cling film and then proceed to roll flat. I should mention here that if you like your dough crunchy, then you would need to roll it really thin. And if you don't, then you would need to roll it, you know, as, as normal. I don't want mine to crunchy. So I'm just doing the normal meat pie size. Once the dough has been rolled flat, I will be using this cutter to make round cuts in it. And if you haven't got this, you can use the lid of a pot or you can also use a bowl. Anyone's fine, to be honest, as long as you can get this perfect round shape. And after doing that, I will scoop some of the filling onto the center of the dough. Please don't add too much filling so it doesn't burst open when you're frying and also so it can cook thoroughly. And after that, I will use my finger to press, you know, the, the edges so it seals a bit. And then proceed to use a fork as well to seal and also to make it look a bit pretty. And that's it. As you can see, it looks absolutely perfect. Next, I'll transfer the pie onto a flour line tray and then proceed to roll and fill the rest. And once that's done, I will begin frying. And as you can see here, um, I've got about eight here, but I was able to make 12 pies with this dough, but I will be frying in batches. Here I've got a pan of vegetable oil on high heat. Yes, I will be doing this on high heat. Otherwise the pies will end up soaking in too much oil if it's too low. Or you can just do say medium to high heat, but not low heat anyway. So to this, I will be adding some onion and this is just so it can add a bit of fragrance or aroma to the oil. You don't have to do this. And then I will proceed to add the pies in gradually. Please don't add too many pies at once. Otherwise the temperature of the oil will drop and it will end up soaking in too much oil. Next I'll fry for about six to seven minutes or until cooked through. And as you can see, it is cooked through at this time. It looks absolutely beautiful. Honestly, it tastes even better than it looks. It wasn't very crunchy and that's because I didn't want it crunchy to start with. I just wanted it very flaky and it was absolutely flaky. I, I absolutely, absolutely loved it. Anyway, if you'd like to see what it looks like on the inside, this is it. Can you see it was so lush? Anyway, if you do try this recipe, please let me know how you get on. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also give me a thumbs up, please. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.